Hello, this is Jeffrey Mangus with Ghostwriting USA podcast. I hope everyone's doing great out there. Thank you so much for tuning into the show again today. I really appreciate it. It's January the the uh, uh, 6th and uh, really excited for what's going on here at uh, Ghostwriting USA. Got a lot of a lot of exciting books happening and a lot of just a lot of things and it's I'm just humbled and uh, I'm blessed uh, to be uh, where I am and um, it's it's just so so exciting I mean I love what I do I love getting up every day and uh, creating something uh, that's going to help someone in their life and that's a book it is it, it's a re- responsibility that that, I, that I've grown to love. And when you find something you know, in your life, um, like writing or anything that you truly enjoy to do and, and you work at it and, and you find that it's not work, you find that it, you, you can't wait to get to do what you get to do, then that's when you know you've, you've found what you, what you were meant to do. And that's what has happened in my life. Um, you know, when I started this venture, um, of course, I've been writing for a very, very long time throughout my life, but never thought I'd do it professionally. Um, but here I am. And uh, now it's, um, it's the joy of my life. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's satisfying, it's fulfilling. And uh, I plan to uh, keep keep writing as much as I can for as many authors as I can and help as many people get their books out into the world. But today's topic, I want to talk about, if you are, if you're here listening to my podcast, my podcast is designed for new authors, uh, for someone who has a book idea in helping them find a ghostwriter, because I'm under no illusion that I'm the perfect ghostwriter for every, every author out there. That's, that's not even fathomable or even to think about but I do believe that I am a good fit for the right person for the right author um I'm because I'm a compassionate uh, ghostwriter I I understand um the dilemmas of business I understand the the time constraints for a business author uh or a coach or CEO or a fortune 500 uh entity small business owner, it doesn't matter. I understand the, 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 the limitations to uh, getting um, a book written. Uh, there's, there are many things that, that uh, hold someone back. Maybe it's not have the time or the skills, but my goal today of the show is understanding um, what you want out of a ghostwriter. When you are talking to ghostwriters about your book, you want to talk to a few and find the one that fits you and fits your personality and fits the style that you want. And I'd, I definitely strive to, to uh, fit lifestyles and, and time and, and schedules and, and also um, let the author relax and do what they need to do while the work is being done. And, but to do that, to get there, you as a new author, there's some questions that you need to kind of, you know, have and kind of ask and have these, have the answers in your own head because a book is just like a business plan. It is a business and you must develop a business plan for your book to be successful. And in that mar- business plan is a marketing plan, a strategic uh, launch plan. Uh, there, there are so many wheels and cogs to the wheel in, in launching a book and getting a book written that I want to start today and, and talk about some of the questions that you want to ask yourself before you start the venture of uh, writing a book and hiring a ghostwriter to do that. And I want to talk about it quick, really quick, the stigma about hiring a ghostwriter. It's, you know, a ghostwriter ghost writer provides a service. It's just like anything else. If you are not an attorney and you need legal help, you hire an attorney. If you have plumbing issues in your home and you do not know how to plumb, you hire a plumbing specialist. If you have 
electrical problems or, or automobile problems, uh, things that you don't understand, what do you do? You hire a professional, someone who does know, someone who can do it. So not everyone in the world is a prolific writer. Everyone writes, but to reach a level of, to develop a professional, sellable, readable, and best-selling manuscript, a lot of people, most people would need the help of a ghostwriter or a service, someone who is providing a service. There's nothing unethical about hiring a ghostwriter. Um, there is nothing uh, illegal about it. it it's, there is an, there's an ethic issue. Hey, I, I didn't write my own book and, and blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, the book and the information in the book, the reader should be captivated and interested enough in the information that it, you know, they care, of course they care about you as the author, but, but do they really care exactly who was the person who wrote it? The honest, the honest answer is no. Someone just needs to write a, or read a book for the information. That's what they want. They want the information to either entertain them, educate them, or enlighten them. And that's what a book customer wants. They don't really, really care uh, who actually physically wrote the book. So with that said, if you're out there and you think there's a little bit of stigma and you're getting some flack about, you know, hey, you're not going to write your book. You're going to hire somebody to write your book. Don't worry about that. It, the goal is to get your book written and it's your story. It's your skills, it's your knowledge being provided. Uh, so, you know, hiring a ghostwriter is just someone getting your information out of your head and onto the page. There's nothing wrong with that. So the question, well, let's jump right in. Some of the questions that you wanna ask yourself and have the answers to before you talk to a, a particular ghostwriter that you want to, um, to use or, or possibly thinking of using. Um, one of the main questions is, um, uh, you know, why are you hiring a ghost? You know, what's, your, what's the answer to that? What, um, most people, you know, say they, they don't, you know, have the talent or, uh, or the time. Um, to write a book or, or, or get, you know, just completely accomplish that task. Um, and so ask yourself that question, why are you hiring a ghost? Is it because your business and you're busy and you have a million things to do already within your job or your business running your company, but you have to get this information out uh, for, for your company or for yourself? Ask yourself that important question and know the answer to that. And ask yourself, what is the goal for your book project? What's your goal? Um, have a goal, have, have something that you wanna get out of it. Um, most people, and some people admit it, admit to, um, they, they wanna make a million dollars with their book. And there's nothing wrong with that either. And a lot of authors, you know, say they just want the satisfaction of, of sharing their information out, of, you know, out into the world. Um, but really, you know, you as a new author, you must decide, uh, you know, on what you want to do. What's your goal? You know, uh, what's your end game uh, with the book? Is it to generate leads for your company? Is it to have a residual income for your for your business, for yourself? Or is it to notoriety and um, maybe even fame? There's nothing wrong with any, any, any of these answers, but you, it's, it, it's helpful to understand where you um, want to go with it. What's your goal? <clears throat> then ask yourself, um, what money and notoriety or power do you hope to, to um, receive from the book? Are those things something that you want to have? Um, of course, money is wonderful um, and allows, allows us to make uh, choices in our life, to do the things we need to do. Um, but understand these are part of your goal you know is it is it money you want to achieve or notoriety or is it the, the fame and the power um, so these are things you must decide you know what is it you want to achieve with with your book 
And so ask yourself this too, what kind of uh, working arrangements are you comfortable with with the ghostwriter? Well, you know, what is it that you visualize? How do you want to work? Do you want to the ghostwriter to come into your office and sit with you and write the book in front of you there, uh, come in every day like an employee and write the book as you dictate? Or do you want to meet online? And uh, are you comfortable with meeting someone in a coffee shop and having them record your sessions? These are all things that you must consider when you're talking to a potential ghostwriter. Know the answer to that question. What are you comfortable with? Do you, are you an introvert and you would prefer just talking on the phone and recording those sessions? Um, are you an extrovert and you're, 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 you'd be glad to meet someone in, in another country in a faraway place and, and dictate your book and have them record it? Whatever you're comfortable with, ask and these, this question to yourself and prepare that yourself for that uh, because every ghostwriter works differently. Myself personally, I like to record my sessions um, either you know, through different processes like Zoom or, or uh, Google, uh, things like that. Record, I like to record them in video and audio. And that, this gives, allows me to not only listen and study my client's tone and their style and their speaking, uh, how they speak, but allows me to visualize them as well. I can see their faces, their expressions, and it allows me to put that in, into my head. So when I'm actually writing the book, I have that author's image and the author's tone of voice in my head allows me to do that. It's a, it's a really, really um, uh, a skill that I'm very proud of. And, and most ghostwriters have the skill, but it takes time to develop that. It, um, it takes a, you know, many hours and a lot of work to develop, to be able to, to tap into that skill. So whatever arrangement you're, you're comfortable with, you need to let that be known, let it be clear and, and understand how you're comfortable in working with a ghostwriter. Um, and then you need to ask yourself, you know, are, I mean, have you started writing your book? Uh, have you tried to get some words on the page? Maybe you have a manuscript, but you know it's just not completely uh, ready at all. It needs cleaned up, tuned up, sharpened. What, where are you with your book? Ask yourself, where are you with my book? With your, you know, are you halfway done? Are you fully finished with a manuscript, but you know it needs help and needs doctored? Or are you starting from scratch? And so, you know, know the answer to that question because a ghostwriter might ask you, where are you with your book? How far along are you with your book? And you, the question you want to ask um, uh, yourself is, is how many ghostwriters are you willing to talk to before you decide on the one you want? Now, the answer to that question is that's personally up to you. I mean, you can talk to 10, you can talk to one, you might find the first one on the first shot, which I hope you do. But ask yourself, you know, am I going to limit it to three? Uh, what, who? what am I going to do here? Um, and because maybe you've had a bad experience, maybe you've tried to hire a ghostwriter before and then you're searching for another one. Um, maybe <clears throat> you might get asked the question from the ghostwriter, how many other ghostwriters have you worked with? So understand that and understand what you want to do with that as far as how many ghostwriters you intend to speak to before you make a decision. Um, one of the main questions that uh, I ask authors, and it's, it, this question is extremely important, um, is who do you see as your target audience for your book? Who is your target reader? And I can tell you that, that most clients I talk to really haven't stopped to consider that, um, that, that very important aspect. Who is going to read your book? Most people, and I, my, including myself, in the very beginning, I, you know, I, my first book, I thought the world's going to read it. The world will want to read it. Well, the reality is the world doesn't want to read it. Not the entire world. A specific segment of the world would probably want to read my book. The first book I wrote was on amputation and limb loss and that signifies a big, big sector of 
people out there, but is it the world? No, of course it's not. So, but I knew my target audience, those, someone who has, you know, experienced limb loss, someone who has living uh, with amputation, someone who has endured those kind of things. That's the, my, that was my reader. I knew that. And I kept that reader in my mind when I wrote the book. That's what you have to do. Even if you hire a ghostwriter, you, as the author, must know who your target reader is. Who is your target audience, your target market? I mean, if, if you don't know where you're going, how are you going to get there? And so, but a book success depends on you understanding that very question. Who is going to read your book? I can't, ex I can't express the importance of understanding that as a, as a new author, because your book, when it finds that perfect audience and finds that perfect reader and is written directly toward that person, and you're either solving their problem, helping them, or educating them or entertaining them, your book will be successful. Now, I can't guarantee that, but the odds are extremely higher <laughs> that your book will be successful. So understanding that question is important. Who is your target audience? Who is your target reader? And one of the main questions you wanna ask yourself and something to prepare for, and this is part of your book business plan is, is what is your budget for the book? Now, this is important when I say budget, we're talking about a fee, something that you have saved to hire a ghostwriter to write your book. Plus there's money gonna be involved in marketing your book. There's money gonna be involved in the books, self-publishing. Um, what is your budget? It's very important because many people, and I've witnessed it, I witnessed it, I talked to a lot of authors, a lot of new authors. And one of the main things that comes up is many people don't throw any money at this thing. They don't budget or plan. They think that writers are, would be, are just waiting ready and waiting for someone to give them a book to write and they're going to write it for six months and not eat or pay their bills, which isn't going to happen. Writers have to eat. Writers have to pay their bills. Writers have to live. Writers even have to take vacations so that they need a break, just like everyone else on the, in the, on the planet. So to do, be able to do that, a writer needs money. So a fee from the ghostwriter involves their time. And this is the hardest part for me as a ghostwriter to, to show that value. When I quote a fee for a book, it's not just me giving a price for per word. That price involves my life, my time, my energy, my devotion, my attention, my skill, and allowing me to, to live and pay my bills and put food on the table for my family so I can write your book. And that's a very important aspect to, to keep in mind. And I hope that that has helped you, know, you out there. If you're looking for a ghostwriter, plan your book and budget for your book. You know, if, you, if your budget's only $3,000 to write a book, then so be it, but let, the, you know, let that be part of the plan and let the ghostwriter know, hey, this is my budget. Can you work with that? But hiring a ghostwriter, I will say that if you want to write, hire a good ghostwriter, a professional, you're gonna expect to spend anywhere from five to even $50,000, depending on who you get, depending on the project, depending on the size of the book, depending on the research of the book, the, the topic of the book, and what you want. These are all specific things that you need to decide. Do you want a large book with many pages, which would mean more words, which would mean more work, more time, and more money? 
to hire a ghostwriter. These are all things that, these are real world aspects that you as a new author must take into consideration. Um, don't walk into it or talk to someone and expect them to, to write for free uh, or write on a percentage or a royalty, even though these deals do happen. I get asked that all the time. Will you write on a royalty percentage? And, and you know, it depends on the author. It depends on the situation. It depends on many things for different aspects to happen. Most of the time I write on a flat fee and that fee is given as a proposal. Fee is agreed upon and time frames, and then we move on with the book. It's really a fairly simple thing, but I do ask new authors, have they budgeted for their book? And it's an important question. It's not about me, hey, looking to see how much I can get. It's about understanding that if you are a serious author and you want to write a book, a serious author plans, and part of that plan is, is, is planning a budget. I think I've said enough on that. Um, I just really wanted to express that um, uh, important aspect. Um, so the one, last, one of the last questions that I uh, really feel is important is for you to understand as a, as a new author, as a new client, um, what do you want from your ghostwriter? What is the ultimate end from the, from the, hiring a ghostwriter? Is it just the book? Are you looking for uh, publication assistance? Are you looking for um, help with locating a literary agent? Are you planning to do traditional publishing and do you need a book proposal? These are all things that you must think about when talking to a writer. What is it that you expect? Um, and expectations go down into things like um, timeframes, timelines, when do you expect the first chapter? When do you expect to have the, half, the book halfway done? And when do you expect to have completion? These are all um, things that must be detailed, written, agreed upon, and what's your expectations on. So you wanna enter into a, uh, a relationship with a ghostwriter with everything written, detailed, uh, in contract, signed, so there's no confusion and there's no problem. So you're when you, if a ghostwriter is under contract to deliver the first chapter within 30 days, then you as the author should expect that, and the ghostwriter should adhere to that contract. Uh, without a contract, without things written in detail, things can go haphazard. Things can go wrong. Confusion will ultimately ensue, and anger and frustration. And it's not good for anybody anywhere for these things to happen. My goal as a professional is to always make the client um, satisfied, to make sure that the, the work is done. Client never has to, never has to worry if the work is not being done. I always hit deadlines. I have not missed one yet. Very proud of that fact. And anyone out there that you hire <clears throat> should adhere to these same rules. And that's, that's my thinking as a professional ghostwriter. I have a lot of ghostwriting friends. I'm in a lot of ghostwriting groups. Um, and these are all true professionals that uh, follow the same suit. They, they hit deadlines and they, they work under contract and they, they do everything that's possible to ensure the client is satisfied and make sure the book is written and out into the world. So thank you so much for tuning into the Ghostwriting USA podcast. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate uh, the support. If you are new here and you would like to uh, subscribe, please just click below or, or um, click above and subscribe to this channel. Uh, it's a weekly uh, podcast, um, weekly video broadcast. Um, and if you are interested in talking to me about your, your new book idea, please visit my website at www.ghostwritingusa.com. Or you can email me at ghostwriterusa and the number one at gmail.com. I look forward to talking to you. And when we do talk, I want you to relax and understand that there's no sales pitch. It's not a, it's not a sales pitch. I'm here to learn how I can help you get your book written and learn how we can collaborate together and make that happen. 
I look forward to speaking with you. And thanks again for tuning into the Ghostwriting USA podcast. Have a great day.